Long-time suitor Canadra Foods include finally sealed a deal to buy private label foods maker Ral Corp Holdings include for $5 billion to tap into the booming business for packaged food that stores sell under their own brand. Demand for cheaper private label foods have outpaced growth in branded packaged foods in recent years. Clearly, consumer dynamics have changed since the recession, and we expect growth in private label food to continue to outpace growth in branded food. Conagra Chief Executive Garrett Rodkin said in a statement on Tuesday. Ral Corp is the top private label maker of large and growing products such as cereal, pasta, crackers, jams and jellies, syrups and frozen waffles. The private label business has been growing about twice as fast as branded products on a dollar basis over the last 13 years, Rodkin said on a conference call with analysts. The private label business will total $4.5 billion or about 25% of the combined company's annual sales, Conagra said. The deal is a big win for activist investor Keith Meister, founder of Corbex Management, Ral Corp's largest shareholder. Corbex demanded in August that Ral Corp either sell itself, buy another company or change its strategy after a series of earnings disappointments. Meister who founded the hedge fund management company in late 2010 after seven years with activist investor Carl Icahn, was appointed to Ral Corp's board in October and was on the company's committee that evaluates strategic opportunities. This was Meister's second success on Tuesday. The board of security services provider ADD Corp approved a $2 billion share buyback and said it was considering taking on more debt, partly at the urging of Corvex, which disclosed a 5% stake in ADT last month. Fourth time lucky. Ral Corp shareholders will receive $90 per share in cash, a premium of 28.2% to the stock's Monday close. Canagra, whose brands include Chef Boyardi Pastas and Slim Jim Meat Snacks, began its pursuit of Ral Corp in March 2011 with an offer of $82 per share. The company raised its bid twice but Ral Corp spurned them including a then final offer of $94 per share made in August 2011, which valued Ral Corp at $5.2 billion. Ral Corp chose instead to spin off its cereals business into post holdings include earlier this year. With Tuesday's deal, the combined market value of Ral Corp and post is about $6.12 billion, showing that Ral Corp was able to extract a much higher price. Davenport and co-analyst Ann Gorkin said Canagra did not overpay given how lucrative the private label business would be. Ral Corp with Canagra's private label portfolio will make a very strong combination, Gorkin told Reuters, adding that her main concern was of successful and timely integration. Investors appeared to agree that Canagra had struck a good deal, pushing up the company's shares nearly 5% to a seven-year high of $29.66 in morning trade on the New York Stock Exchange. Ral Corp shares were trading at $88.75. Rival to benefit. The deal, expected to close by March 31st, also bodes well for Ral Corp rival treehouse foods include, SunTrust Robinson Humphrey analyst William Chapel, Jr. said in a note. We believe this is a positive catalyst for treehouse foods as the deal represents further consolidation in the private label industry and temporarily ties up the two other major private label buyers in the acquisition landscape, Chappell said. Treehouse shares rose 5.5% to $54.72. The deal, valued at $6.8 billion including debt, will be funded with cash own hand and new or wings for which Canagra said it has received a commitment from Buffett Merrill Lynch. To maintain its credit rating, Canagra said it will issue $350 million of equity. It will also maintain its dividend of $1 per share on an annual basis and will scale back share buybacks for 18 to 24 months. The deal, which was approved by the boards of both companies, will add to earnings in the first year, Canagra said. Centerview Partners and Buffett Merrill Lynch are financial advisors to Canagra while Barclays and Goldman Sachs and Co. are advising Ral Corp. Ral Corp also reported the fourth quarter net loss of $44.2 million, or 80 cents per share, on revenues of $1.07 billion, 